summertime and the living is easy. Here we are at the Chicharro Club's annual classic car show as part of the Centenario Festival. This is a show that everyone will remember. It's like a Canadian classic car show vacation in sunny Italy without ever leaving home. It's not the biggest show in the county, but it's hard to deny the smiles on the faces of visitors and those showing off their fine automobiles. Frank, Tony, and all the volunteers at the show did a great job. One of the true delights of this show, besides the cars that we'll have a look at in a moment, is the number of picnic tables and shade trees providing shelter from the sun. And the big covered pavilion where you can order delicious lunches. And there were plenty of choices on the menu. It's not just one thing that makes the Chicharro Club car show so much fun, but all the extras that go into the show. Extras like authentic Italian entertainment. Public admission to the show and show car registration are free. And there are trophies and plaques for the hottest cars in various categories. The Chicharro Club's annual classic car show. And we're going to have a look at that show starting right now. The video versions you're looking at now are called Rough Cuts. They're called Rough Cuts for a reason. A little fast, a little slow, a little bumpy in places. But I wanted to show you as much of this show as possible. So stay with me for the grand tour. Coming up, we'll have a look at several individual cars, drop a few names, and tell a few stories about various cars. As you know, every car has a story. But for now, we're cruising the Chicharro Classic Car Show. Here's a tip of the hat to Windsor Corvette Club President Brian and some of the club members for coming out to enjoy this day. Also thanks to Tony for chauffeuring me around on his ATV so I could take these images. I hope you're enjoying these rough cut images. I know they're going a bit fast, but Tony's got a heavy foot on the accelerator. We'll slow it down soon to look at individual cars here at the Chicharro Club Classic Car Show. Well, there you have it, the entire car show in four minutes flat. Now a closer look. Viva Italia! Let's start with this shiny red Ferrari. That's a V12 engine under the rear deck. Most of you will know Tony's 1929 Ford Hot Rod, but this was a very special day for Tony, as he unveiled his beautiful 1958 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Tony has put a lot of work into this rare and valuable piece of automotive luxury. Tony, I know we all share in your happiness with this remarkable car. Congratulations, and we wish you many years of happy motoring. Here's Norm's 1927 Model T. A very tastefully done car, with nice pinstriping on the back. Another Norm owns this 56 Ford. This was once a drag car, but not anymore. 
Norm spotted this car while on a household mission to bring home vacuum cleaner bags. Want to know more about this discovery? Ask Norm. He'll tell you all about it. As mentioned earlier, every car has a story. Stan bought this 65 Chevy brand spanking new with a 327 and 4 speed. But after several years, it was looking pretty sad, and so he took it all apart in his driveway and rebuilt it. It looks great now. Like many cars of this vintage, Jim's car used to run on the track. Over its tortured life, it's been revved up, sawed up, and smashed up. Some assembly required. Jim did it, and it looks great now. Here's Dave's 73 Pantera, a mid-engine sports car produced by Di Tommaso of Italy. These cars were powered by a 351 Cleveland. Jim bought this fair lane at the Gone Car Crazy show for his wife. His car had a four-speed. She couldn't drive it. She can drive this one, though. Under the hood is a 289, stroked out to 347. Like a lot of us, memories played a big part in Rick buying and restoring this 57 Chevy. It's equipped with a 350 horse, 327, and four-speed. Dave keeps his 70 Chevelle spotless. It has a 454 and four-speed. 1967 was the last year for Austin Healey. The Chichero Club Classic Car Show was a special anniversary for Roy's car. It rolled out 51 years from the date of this show. His Austin Healey came off the assembly line in 66 as a 67 model. Ron's 56 T-Bird always looks great. It was completely disassembled last winter and every piece stripped and repainted. It has its original 312 engine. Ken's T-Bird is also a numbers matching car. It wins a lot of awards at T-Bird shows across North America. It also has a 312. This is Doug's magnificent 1947 Ford. The car was professionally restored and has more options than I can list here. Most of the car is Lincoln, and it catches attention wherever it goes. I'm David, and this is my car, a 1962 old Starfire. This car took three years to restore. It's a daily driver driven year-round. John was here with his 57 Chevy 150. It's in beautiful condition, with a 350 cubic inch engine under the hood. Here's Rob's 1937 Ford Coupe. I always think this car has so much character. And there's Ray's 1954 Packard Patrician. He traded his old pickup truck for this car even. In its day, this was a top-of-the-line car, competing with Cadillac. Well, this video has gone much too long, so I'll wrap it up for now. This was a great show. It had everything going for it. When you see Jim's notices about this show next year, make it a must-attend. I know you'll enjoy it. So long for now from the Chichero Club Classic Car Show. And as always, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.